Okay, welcome to another tutorial by MojoMojo.Design. Okay, so what I want to do in this lesson is talk tileable textures. So I've been looking at quite a few different methods for tiling to find out which one's going to be best for this tutorial. And I'm going to show you a couple of methods and how we can kind of use them. The first thing I've done is gone into Google and type rock textures. So I'm going to go into settings now and just go to advanced search. Underneath the advanced search, you can actually say a resolution size. So I'm going to want quite high quality. So I'm going to go up to two megapixels and click advanced search. Now all these textures will be over 2K. Well, this means that they're going to be much higher quality. So what I'm looking for is a texture that hasn't got much um, shadow lighting, you know, because that's going to be baked in. Well, it's going to apply to the texture when you put it on there. So if you've got something like this, it's quite nice because there's no real shadow. It's just kind of a texture. Um, this is quite good as well. well. It's a little bit bad, but I'm going to take this. and I'm just going to save it. So I'm going to save this image as and I'm just going to save it onto my desktop there. I might just have a look and see if there's any others. Um, I quite like kind of polished stone. I want a kind of obsidian. Obsidian texture. Let's have a look at that. Okay, that's quite nice. Um, black obsidian woven. Ooh. Very good. Let's try a high resolution. Hmm. I quite like that, but there is a lot of pickup of lighting on this piece that's more of what I was looking for it's darker in this area and lighter in the other so we're looking for one that's all over same same kind of tone but it doesn't matter I'm going to use this one anyway and we'll chuck that onto our desktop as well okay right I can exit out now and I'm going to open up the first texture inside of Photoshop where we'll be begin the tiling method so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this to a UV object inside of ZBrush so you can sort of see how it looks okay so I've got this open I'm going to come down to make sure that I'm in your Photoshop I'm using Photoshop latest version time of this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my workspace just so that make sure you've got it all set the same so I've got it set on essentials uh, what we're looking for here is um, I'm going to close that tab is the layer tab here which is going to be better um, don't really care too much about the channels or the library at the side close that tab group down I just want to concentrate on this I'm just dragging it up to this corner so layers becomes in there so I'm going to double click on that and we're going to call it base and I'm just going to click and call that base there so we've got this so what I want to do is I want to make this a square texture so I'm going to come into my crop tool and you can set a size so we want the one to one ratio so I'm going to click that and you're going to see this will go down then we can move the tile around there to get the best um, bit of detail I'm going to go like that double click in there um, if you use the move tool now you can see it actually cropped it so what can be a good idea is to actually open up so I'm going to save this we're going to save this and we'll call this rock tile one one okay so we're saving that on our desktop click OK names changed up here I'm now going to open up the original rock which was this one here uh, just for reference now I want this just for reference because I might be taking sampling some of this into this to make it better okay now the next thing I want to look at is the actual size of this piece so 72 it's 2059 um, now as long as it's square it's going to work but we normally work in 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 215 etc so I want to make this a, um, probably a 4k map maybe maybe a 4k map actually no I'll make it a 2k map 2048 
OK. Click OK. Scale down. All right. So um, now we've got this, what we need to do is the tiling on this. Now, at the moment, if we tiled this piece, let me just go to the canvas size. Little tip here. Um, put this to pixels if you put times two it will double it out so if I use the shift key and the eight which brings up the asterisk and put two it will um, double that just a, a little saves you working it out you know times in 2048 you can just do that and that will work and that doubles the size there now I should have done it control Z <laughs> should have done it from the corner there so it's coming out that way so let's do this again quickly. 2048, two, enter. Okay, should have done it in one go. Let's just copy that. Copy, copy from the corner, paste in there, click OK. Okay, so at the moment, what we've got is we've got this piece. Now, if I duplicate this layer, right hand click, duplicate layer, click OK, and I drag this across then you're going to see that it doesn't tile. You can see a line there, okay? And obviously the same would apply this way as well. Control J, by the way, to um, duplicate layers. So that's not working for us. But if I was to flip this layer around, let me just delete this one out. Yep. If I was to take this one and I was to flip it, so come into this layer, go transform, and then go flip on the horizontal, you're gonna see that it is there, and I formed a line. So what I can do now is I can merge this down, Control E or right hand click, merge down, okay? Control J to duplicate or right hand click, duplicate layer. Oh, where's my options? Let's go into there, duplicate layer. Click okay. Now I can move that down, and I'm going to get that line, but if I flip it, let's go to edit, transform, vertical, there we go. So now I can merge this down, right hand click, merge down, and now if I was to scale this, control T, drag it in, let go, control J to duplicate the layer, and I was to move this layer here, it's going to be tiled. However, because we've done flips on all axis, you've got this exactly the same pattern going on all the way around, which is not what we want. So I'm gonna go back some now, go to history. I'm just gonna come back to the original piece here. So we've got that, so it's flipped. And what you can do now is you can merge this down, Control E, and we could use samples from the other, or we could use the clone tool down here to clone sections of this out. So I'm using the bracket keys to bring my uh, brush size up and down. That's next to P on the keyboard. Press Alt to sample an area, and then you can kind of change the pattern. Don't go right to the very edge, because otherwise it won't tile the other side. So stay away from the edges, and we'll just go in and start to kind of put the pattern back into some of these areas here. Well, sometimes I find it's good to use not absolute softened brush, but something with a little bit less softening. Something like that. And come across here a little bit. Okay, that'll do. We could also come into the rock texture here. Control A to select it all, or select Control A. Control C to copy. Come back in here. Control V, which will drop that layer in there. And then you can use something like the eraser tool to just go around the edge and blend the two in. Notice that. Okay. So when you're happy with that, I'm gonna move this over a little bit. In fact, you could duplicate that up if you wanted to. Control J, then we just move it down there, maybe use this. Remember, I'm not going right to the edge here, and I'm gonna use quite a soft brush, quite a large, but quite a soft brush. Bracket keys to bring it down. 
we get something like that. Now I'm going to merge it down, Control E, Control E, and we got something like this. So now, because we extended it, we got a 4K map, but it's tileable. And let me prove that your tile. Let's just cancel that. Control T, drag that in, double click. Control J to duplicate. Go to the move, move that there. And you can see we are tiling. We've got a little bit of discrepancy on there, but it's nothing major. So let's go back one. Let's go down back to here. Okay, and we've got this. And it's tight, it's causing problems with that little area just on the edge. So it's worth zooming in using the zoom tool and just using the clone brush just to go in and slightly change the edges just so not quite to the edge but about one pixel out and just change those edges it will just break it up a bit more so spend as much time as you need just going in and changing those edge pieces anywhere that's going to kind of look a bit weird you only have to do it on two corners because when it meets it will be good Okay, it's not bad. And you can go into this and just repair as many bits as you think need doing. Okay, just cloning. So I'm pressing the Alt key to sample an area and then I can drag that piece over here and make some modifications like that. So that's gonna look a lot better because I've taken away a little bit of the outer. So now I've got that. Let me just save that Photoshop file. Come in and let's now just save this as, and we'll just save it as a JPEG. And I'll just put that on my desktop. Click save. I like to keep it high on the quality, less compression. Okay, now I'm gonna open ZBrush and apply this to it. Okay, so what I have here is a kind of um, funny looking rock. Uh, but for the purpose of this, it will be fine. So this um, rock I've got here has got UVs. I have got four subdivision levels. So if I take this down to the lowest subdivision level, you can see it's fairly low res. And also if I go to the plugins and I flatten this, you can see, oh, go into, let's go into my UVs. <clears throat> and you can see that it's flattened. So we've got something like that, okay? So it's, uh, it's got a crease down there, but it's round one side. So it's gonna form fairly nicely. <clears throat> I haven't done anything special with the UV, so there will be a seam line, but it shouldn't be too bad. So now I've got this, what I can do is I can test this out with the texture. So if I open this to four again, and we come in to the texture tab here, and what I can do is I can come in here and I can just import that um, texture that we've got on our desktop uh, there, the rock tile, and click open. Um, I'll just change it to a flat shader. What you can see is that we have this and I can tile it. At the moment, if I go to my UV map and I go down to adjust, um, we can actually adjust the amount of these divisions across here. Apology, under create. I'm gonna put this to five and hit enter. You're gonna see that change. And I'm gonna put this to five as well. So we've now got five versions of this tiling texture across this rock face. And as you can see, you can't see where the seams are because it's put them across onto this. If you look at the bottom, it's even more evident. This is a flat panel. So if I put this to um, let's put it to 10 and put 10 in here you can start to see a bit of the tiling on these edges around here but it doesn't look wrong you know if you zoom in it doesn't look wrong so that is how we can tile textures using Photoshop there is another method for um, doing this as well <clears throat> so I'm going to keep this um, close there and I'm going to open up our other one which is our grunge map here 
let's just open that up in a second and here it is here and what we can do is we can do exactly the same so I can come down to my layer and we can make this square so sorry first of all I'll go into here I'll just name this um, double click in here call this rock 2 and there and I'm going to go I'm working quite quickly now with this but I'm going to go into my crop tool my crop tool is set square in there so that's the crop I'm going to double click on that and this time I'm going to use offsets to make this work so underneath some of the filters we have other things we can do we can do an offset now before we do the offset I just need to check my scaling of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this 512 because it's smaller tile I uh, don't want to come up because I'll be resampling this image so if anything I want to come down so I put it to 512 and I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to go and let's make this a bit bigger control plus Ooh, control minus and let's go into filter let's go to other and go offset now this is going to bring up this offset now what half of 512 is 128 so I'm going to put 128 there and 128 on the vertical there and click enter that hasn't given me exactly what I wanted let me just go back into my offsets wrap arounds on oh that's fine yep click OK so I've got this so what it's done is it's put two squares and it's put them in here and what it means now is that I can use the clone brush and sample a bit of this and start to put it into here and basically get rid of the edge so I'm actually not doing that process that we did before so I can come in here and grab that edge just come across and there with the offset now this is a tileable texture so just to prove that I can go in and set another offs offset because I can come in here and we can go to offset again and you're going to notice although I've got the offset it all looks tileable so let's just cancel that and let's send this out again if you want to you could double up on the image size to check or you could come in here press ctrl T to transform bring this down double click it press ctrl J to duplicate it use the move tool move that across and just check that it all tiles which it does like that um, so that's the other way that we can do it so I'm going to come back to here back to this original and I'm now going to save this out so I'm just going to save it as and we'll call this one rock 2 as a JPEG so there it is we got that first rock come in here click 2 and save and this is the more common way of doing it that I've shown you here um, I just wanted to show you an alternative so if I now come back into here and we load this new texture in which is this one here and click open and you're going to see that apply to here straight away giving that effect now you can see repeated parts here but it's texturing really well um, this is what you need to be aware of you need to be aware of highlighted detail in an image because it can show up and kind of repeat you can see what's happening there it's repeating so I mean if I was to change this value to maybe 30 or something it would be even more evident <laughs> as uh, as to what's happening like that obviously if I was to bring this down we were to make this like one or something let's make it five in here then it's less evident because there's less of that repeating all right so I hope you've enjoyed this course on creating tileable textures inside of Photoshop for ZBrush. You could also use these tileable textures in any other applications as well. So hopefully that's been of use to you. And uh, yeah, just uh, sign up at mojomojo.design, get a free brush that you can use for creating hair. Um, got some tutorials on the YouTube channel, so subscribe to that and you'll see those um, YouTube videos on hair and using that hairbrush. So if you subscribe at mojomojo.design, then you'll get a free brush as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for your support, and I'll see you around.